one restaurant, two nations. Gostilna Kalin used to be in Yugoslavia. Today, it's in Slovenia and Croatia. A former kingdom and then communist republic, Yugoslavia broke into fragments starting in 1991. Slovenia and Croatia became independent nations and that new border went right through Gostilna Kalin. A green line inside the restaurant demarcates the two nations. On one side, Slovenia. On the other, Croatia. The line, a scar of history, a symbol of separation. When uh, Slovenia and Croatia got separated as independent states, it was a little bit harder for our business because we used to have uh, a lot more Croatian customers uh, than Slovenian ones. And now the people are kind of afraid to go across the border uh, because of the control and then if uh, they drink something they cannot relax themselves as, as they used to before because of the um, control of police. Most of the kitchen is in Slovenia, some of the dining in Croatia. The entrance to the restaurant is in Slovenia, which joined the European Union in 2004. Croatia joined it in 2013. Left in economic shambles following the European financial crisis, joining the EU is yet to help Croatia recover. This is hurting business at Gostilna Kalin, which straddles the sleepy village of Obregie in Slovenia and the little town of Brigana in Croatia. Also, Croatia, unlike Slovenia, is not yet part of the Eurozone, a 17-country group that uses a common currency, the Euro. People coming from Croatia, uh, for, for them it's also a little bit more expensive because the prices are in euros. As of March 2015, one euro was valued at more than seven Croatian kuna. To lure back its former customers now living in Croatia, Gostilna offers cheaper family meals on Sundays and specials on drinks after 6 p.m. The menu hasn't really changed. Cuisines of both nations are largely influenced by Italian, Austrian, Turkish and Hungarian food. A variation of the schnitzel, breaded and fried meat, or goulashes and soups are popular. Slovenia is part of the Schengen, a group of European countries that have chosen to abolish passport control at their common borders. Croatia is expected to apply for the Schengen in 2015, which would ease travel across the two nations and help business at Gostilna. The green line, though, like the border between the two nations, would remain.